Once upon a time, in a vast, sprawling forest, there existed a tiny water drop named Dewey. Dewey lived high up in the clouds, nestled among the fluffy cumulus formations, waiting for the perfect moment to embark on its grand adventure. One bright morning, Dewey felt a gentle tug from the wind, signaling it was time to leave the comfort of the clouds and begin its journey, its journey. With a leap of faith, Dewey descended from the heavens, hurtling towards the earth below. As Dewey plummeted through the atmosphere, it marveled at the beauty of the world beneath it. It witnessed the shimmering blue expanse of the ocean, the emerald green of the forests, and the golden hues of the deserts. Each landscape held its own allure, and Dewey couldn't wait to explore them all. Finally, Dewey landed with a soft plop on the leaf of a majestic oak tree. From its new vantage point, Dewey observed the bustling activity of the forest below. Creatures of all shapes and sizes scurried about, going about their daily routines. Dewey soon realized its importance in this vibrant ecosystem. It trickled down the leaf, joining other droplets as they formed a tiny stream. Together, they flowed through the forest, quenching the thirst of plants and animals alike. As Dewey journeyed through the forest, it encountered many obstacles along the way. It navigated through rocky terrain, squeezed through narrow crevices, and cascaded down roaring waterfalls. But through it all, Dewey remained resilient, never losing sight of its purpose. Seasons passed, and Dewey continued its journey, eventually merging with a mighty river that snaked its way through the heart of the forest. Along the riverbanks, lush vegetation flourished, thanks to Dewey's life-giving presence. One day, as Dewey gazed up at the sky, it felt a familiar tug from the clouds above. It was time to return home. With a bittersweet farewell to the forest that had become its home, Dewey began its ascent back to the heavens. As Dewey rose higher and higher, it reflected on the incredible journey it had undertaken. It had experienced the wonders of the natural world, forged lasting connections with its surroundings, and played a vital role in sustaining life wherever it went. And so, as Dewey rejoined its fellow water droplets among the clouds, it knew that its adventures were far from over. For wherever there was life to be nourished, Dewey would be there, a tiny but essential part of the endless cycle of nature.